hello again. So this is Neurotech. It's a, a deck builder where you have cards and you fight your inner demons basically with those cards. Haven't played this in a while and uh, so I'm rediscovering it right now as well. So this is Lei, apparently. Uh, she has left her country to discover a new world, but has a hard time understanding this new realm. Um, you explore the subconscious of a character. Everyone ha has a past, a present and a future. The past is a good way to understand what you are today. Your present actions will also impact your future state of mind. Time is a continuous flow that can be invigorating, scary, or exhilarating. Learn about what you're made of. So, choose an emotion to explore today. Okay, this resilient level gives you a new height of mental training to challenge. Every step brings you new tests. Constant anxiety. You always get five anxiety at the beginning of the fight until you remove it yourself. What else is there? Unlucky draw. You don't get lucky draws in reward. Classroom rank two and rank three cards get available later. Okay. Okay, let's just try surprise. Okay, when you play a card, you regain two sanity and two stamina. Well, this is pretty good actually. <coughs> Comfort food, random thoughts, back pain. Hmm. Emotions are driving you, uh, are driving your state of mind. They're the basis of a spiritual journey. Your emotions impact your possibilities. Your cards. Can you choose an emotion? Are you mastering? W are you mastering which emotions you are going through? <gasps> Present comfort, food, and random thoughts. <laughs> Back pain and diary. <laughs> I think anger is fine. Choose a trait that changes your playstyle. Nursery. The nursery welcomes newborn who are all unique and special in some way. Uh, well, using a character's core skill does not cost stamina. Frugal. You gain three sanity each time your card fades. Or lucky. At the beginning of your turn you have a 50% chance of drawing an additional card. Card draw is good. Let's try that. Now, we can go to the library and duplicate a card or uh, transform your capabilities into something bigger, something better in a classroom. A quiet classroom with only a teacher. He agreed to give you advice after class. Oh, let's teach. Uh, this card, comfort food. Or you gain, regain 20 sanity. This card is played. Do I want that? You regain sanity, you regain stamina, but it doesn't cost you anything. I don't think that's a good idea. Is it? It costs... This, the, uh, the top left corner should be cost. <coughs> or the minimum sanity or stamina you you should have uh, in order to play this card now this this year you can the comfort food you can play uh, phobia loses eight you discard one random card you regain 10 stamina and phobia loses these are good cards really i don't I'm not sure if i want to resume the journey up to locks your cards and puts its filthy hands on it. Or a simple shell arachnophobia. Fight a phobia lurking in your mind. Arachnophobia. 
A simple challenge that can still bite pretty hard. Okay. Ooh, this nasty looking spider. Hmm. Draw one card but lose eight stamina. If you have zero stamina, lose eight sanity instead. If I end my turn, uh, if you have nothing left to do, you regain 13 plus 13 stamina for each unused action. I have three of three actions I can do. So I'd say a random thought for the phobia. So this one as well. This is stamina. My stamina pool uh, depletes. And this is my health pool. If any of them go, uh, goes to zero, I lose. No, if you turn. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, I like I want to. Uh, good. Ooh, 25. Okay, so the next one is I lose 25 sanity and I lose 25 stamina. Uh, Arachnophobia uh, still has 13 hit points. I really need to k get her right now. So I have a six and I have eight, which makes it 14. I can get it, uh, I can get it. Yes! <laughs> now I think can kicking, writing about day. I think riding over the day isn't too bad. Um, whatever phobia we are fighting gets damaged and one draws a card. That can be helpful. Or one gets an action and can, can do more. Is an action worth more than a card? Both are, uh, have a cost of 10. But I think uh, I'd, I'd rather have an action than a card right now. Let's try this. Memorial or the Gymnasium. Improve your character's permanent stats or remove a card from a deck. I don't think we want to remove anything right now. Because, you know, we... We have few cards as they are. Plank or push ups. I think I want a more sanity. Uh, sleeping gives you new resources to fight the different obstacles in your life, it helps you reorganize and understand the activities of the past day. Or a cl quiet classroom with only a teacher. He agreed to give you advice after class. I think you're gonna sleep a bit. Oh, that's nice. Phobia loses eight, doubled if it has block. Yes. Okay, so Chorophobia. They want you to what they want to watch you struggle. So make sure you to read their actions and plan accordingly. Ooh, let's get started quickly here. Ugh. Player gains five anxiety. Switch the amount of players stamina and sanity. 
player loses five cents at the beginning of their turn. Mm -hmm. That's what I did now. Uh, did we lose sanity? I think we did, yeah. But what we can do is... Okay. Do we gain stamina? Yeah. No, we don't need that. So, first things first. For business, you discard random. Okay. You gain stamina, four beer loses five. I like that. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Play against five anxiety. Oh. Uh, transform every card in the player's hand into another card of the same rank and emotion. You still have two. F loses eight. Mm -hmm. Are we fine? Is this okay? Seventeen hit points. It's let's. Uh, yeah. Okay. We're th we're fine. I think. So uh, you regain ten stamina. We have uh, fun. Phobia loses five. Uh, I draw one card but lose eight stamina. Do we want that? Play against five. Every card in players, this card pile fades out. Maybe so, but. Do we need insanity? We don't need. Do we need stamina? You regain. Hmm. Player loses five sanity. Uh, I, okay, I'm fine. Mm. I so I gain some. I think we are done, and now we are. Mm. Do I lose stamina? Regain stamina. I don't need stamina. I lose. But you lose eight stamina. Mm. If you have zero stamina, no. Okay, I can draw a card. Okay. Mm -hmm. Play, play against five anxiety again. Switch the amount of player stamina. Oh, okay. I think we can just finish this like this. <laughs> Clonophobie. Hmm. Anarchy. Angry scribbling. You gain three sanity and three stamina for each card played this turn. You gain th one action. This card fades after use. Hmm. You gain 20 stamina. You draw a card. You discard a random card. What is this? Phobia. Uh, it's expensive though. Or I'd rather, yeah, it's expensive. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Angry scribbling. You gain three sanity. Uh, for beer loses ten, and all the modifiers are removed. <sighs> tricky, tricky, tricky. You gain three sanity. Do I want this? Do I want that? Stamina. These um, green uh, items um, can be used multiple times. Uh, at the moment, it says it can be used twice. So we basically the first time you play it, you put it in uh, on the on the left side, and then you just click it uh, to activate it. Oh, that's very handy. Do I want to be angry scribbling or uh, prepare for more powerful uh, phobias? 
I think I, I poop here. I want to focus. Um, your base and turn bonus is increased by the Your max cards in hand is increased by two. Or you draw one more card at the beginning of each fight. Oh, yes, please. Uh, Pelkin gives you an insight on what's important in your life. Pick a card from the neutral card pool. Oh, interesting. Against three weaknesses. Uh, what's the weakness? Does three less sanity damage during the turn. Okay. Um, draw one card, which is good. This card you play doesn't cost stamina. Oh, this one does. So well, let's do this. So I make it weaker and draw a card. So it re replaces itself. Which is fine. Gnomophobia, a nightmare, and squalophobia. So the fear of little people and the fear of what eats your cards. Okay, for, for sharks. Of sharks, okay. Uh, gnome likes to target specific parts of your abilities, like items and skills. I think we can handle. <laughs> Disable player score skill for two turns. Gain 25 block. Oh, block is not good. I don't like block. Mm hmm. Blocks 25, that's not gonna. You lose 45 minus 3 sanity. Ugh. What else? Phobia loses 8, double if there's block. <laughs> yes, please. Now, see? Phobia loses, and I gain an action. Uh, I have two actions, and this one here. Okay, there we go. Uh, sanity. I have plenty of sanity. That's all right. That's all right. Ooh. -hoo. And so next time he, it gets blocked. So this time I can hurt it. Player gains plus one nostalgia. The player has one less action. You cannot have less than one action. Okay. And Phobia does 20 more sanity damage during that turn. Mm. Oh, that's handy. It doesn't cost me any. And this one, Phobia loses hit points. Lose all Phobia's modifier. Hmm. Phobia gains 20 wrath. That's not good. Then have one more action, huh? So let's see what you can do. Do your worst. Did you just eat a mushroom? Oh, okay, okay. We're still alive. We're still alive. That's all right. Okay. We got three weakness. I can draw a card. Haha! -ha. No! Ah! Why can't we play it? Uh, too many actions. Uh, what's that? Endless. Ends the turn. You lose 45 plus 17. We can't do that. That's that's bad. Uh, Double if it has block. <laughs> uh, in, I gain one more action. 
And I can... That's... Ah! Now I'm dead. There's no way I'm gonna, gonna survive this one here. Yeah, I'm done. You faint. The phobia defeats your mind. Your body is still up and running, so maybe you can give it another try to solve the neurodeck. Here are some tips you might, that might help you. Use the mind focus button, bottom right. It lets you draw cards. Yes, that would have been helpful. Mm -hmm. So, let's try a new. Lay again. Uh, surprise. Mind focus, or at the beginning of your run, you gain <laughs> max. I, I can start with a better, better balance or joy. So I'm, we're joyful, and each time you take damage from the vent, you gain wrath. At the beginning of your turn, you gain. T at the beginning of your turn. Hmm. Uh, it, do we want to regenerate? Contemplative. Each time you take damage. Uh, let's take this. The Neurotech wants to probe your mind, give you more tools to defeat your phobias. Okay. Self-reflection survey. Dependence, independence. You haven't found the time to grab a coffee this morning, and you realize you're no less uh, energized than usual. A. It's alright, I've got the time now. Time for a cup of joe. Or, everything is alright then. Hmm. Dependence, independence, yeah. Okay, everything alright then. Um, emotional distress. A phone a friend. Even if you know it will cause problems down the line. Because you only ever call them when something's wrong. Or you revise your breathing exercises. Hmm. Down the line. Hmm. I think... I try to revise my breathing exercises. Not, I don't like calling people. Uh, money worries? Nope. Nope. Mom and dad can help me out. <laughs> of course. Uh, make up for lack of sleep with either comfort food or sleep. Uh, pff, let's say comfort food. Um, it's evening and your Wi-Fi isn't working. I guess I'll use my 4G connection, or no problem, I read a book. Hmm. Yeah, I would like to say I read a book, but honestly, since I have a smartphone, I've read books, right? Like ebooks, maybe a bit, and news, but I've been using my smartphone way too often. Dependent. When you use an item, you regain for sanity. Trade unlocked. Equip trade. Haptophobia. Hapto locks your cards and puts its filthy hands on it. Or arachnophobia. Let's give it this. Mm, ugly little. Maggot. So, um, uh, play against at the end of the turn, which is good. So, Phobia loses 8. Phobia loses 6. Mm, I gain. Ding dong! You lose 30 sanity at next. Hmm. 
Phobia gets anxiety. Retro gaming. Or we get uh, our favorite pillow, which can, we can use two times. Um, player gets four rested. Phobia loses six. So we can use that twice. Or we can draw an item from your deck and again an action. Or we have a shitty day. We draw one card and play against uh, two wrath. Uh, wrath um, increases the damage we do. Let's do retro gaming. Uh, what do we want to improve? Sleep. We want just want to sleep a bit. Dream or fruit? Phobia loses zero twice HP for every card in your hand. Huh? Okay. So twice the amount of cards in our hand. So it's the first card we wanna we wanna play. Uh huh. So if we have four cards in our hand, that's like eight. Mm. Let's see. Revive new memories from the past and choose the path for your character. Each path unlocks a new card. Let's see which card would fit you the most. Entertainer or Inspirer? Let's be inspiring. Spending time with your friends or meeting new people? Let's spend in with friends. Materialism or idealism? Let's be an idealist. So, stroll. Get passive. One turn. Equipping items does not use actions. You gain one, uh, one action. All right. Tokophobia is a ticking bomb that will grow more and more angry over time. Mm -hmm. Ugh, she's not nice. Uh, loses 40 point at the beginning of the turn. Okay. Uh huh. And I, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, you lose 20 plus 10, huh? You lose 20 plus 10 sanity, so it's 30 sanity. Phobia gains 20 wrath. So 20 wrath means Phobia has plus 20 damage. Uh, that's not nice. So we're safe. <laughs> oh, 30. This is bad. Reset Phobia's rough timer. Phobia does zero more uh, to damage during the turn. Okay, so this goes to zero, but anxiety still for one more turn. So we have one times two plus four. So here loses uh, so twelve. Okay, we can do that for every card in your hand. I have one more card, so it's two plus it's six damage. I can do that. Okay, what have you? So we arrested player gains four life at the end of their turn. Anxiety player loses four sanity at the beginning of the turn. 
five sanity, sorry. Um, for beer gains anxiety, let's do that. And for beer loses six. Ha! Goodbye. Cancel all your modifiers. Phobia loses one hit point for all stacks. Cancel this way. You regain 10 stamina. This is solid. You gain two actions. If you gain, take a pain pill, this card fades after use. You draw one card for every item in your hand, or you regain 20. Yeah, I think we start with spiritual beliefs. I'm not a fan personally, but the mechanic is solid. Uh. One can learn about f f uh, phobias, apparently. What can lead people to do such a thing? Put a pagan idols in their garden. Let the paint strip away. The sun turn them pale. Let the leash devour them. What might the garden gnomes think? Look at their hate-filled eyes, their snide grin. What would they do to you if they only could? Okay. Tenacious independence. Oh, what's that? Ah, that's me. All right, all right, all right, all right. Interesting. So, uh, let's meditate. Uh, draw one more card at the beginning of each fight. That's good. And let's another survey. Either we're humble or we're proud. Let's start. You fail an entrance exam, though you were certain that you were among the best in the group. You are deeply hurt, torn between shame and anger. Or look on the bright side. You know what you're worth and uh, that there is still much to learn. This victory was not for you, at least not this time. Well, when I'm certain, like in, then it's a disappointment because, you know, I expect to be the best, and then uh, I'm hurt if my expectation doesn't um, come to pass. Uh, as you're walking down the street, your pants rip apart right in, uh, in the crotch area. Either you want to hide a hole and never come out, or you laugh. Then you find some way to hide it until you get home. Uh, well, I'm pretty resilient in that respect. Really, in my humble opinion, it's some other people's problem. Um, by some miracle, you get a date on Tinder. Well, huh, miracle, indeed. Uh, you tell all your friends, in any case, you're gonna get uh, some tonight, no matter what it takes. Or... You say nothing to anyone about it and hope that you're gonna that you're a good match. It doesn't matter if you're not. Well, honestly, I think if I say something to anyone else, I jinx it. So therefore, I would choose B. After many years without needing anyone, once again you find yourself needing social security. Very well, that's why we pay taxes, or you feel ashamed. No. Nope. I pay taxes, that's why uh, there is social security. You get caught in a debate, and as you fiercely make your case, you start to realize that you're wrong. Either, ah, quick, act like you're deeply offended and create a distraction, or you recognize that you now have doubts about your opinion, and you'll have to think about it. That's what debates are for. I think we can be fairly straightforward with this. You're humble. When you discard a card, you draw a card. Ooh. They want to watch you struggle to so make you sure you uh, to read the actions and plan accordingly. Or agoraphobia. Yeah, let's try agoraphobia. Crowds. Too many people. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Hmm, and what now? What now? Let's do this first, and then... So... Hmm. 
I lose 20 sanity, locks two cards for one turn. Right? I only have one. <laughs> See? I can regain, but it. Uh, stamina? Or. Uh, yeah, let's do this. I play some retro gaming. Now you can be afraid. <laughs> Phobia gets. And I get retro. <laughs> <laughs> it's too sorrow. You lose 20 stamina. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, see, here's the thing. Cards are all your modifiers. So it's 5 and 6, it's 11. Lose, uh, Phobia loses 1 hit point. For all stacks cancelled this way, you gain, regain 10 stamina. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Right, so. I can lose 30 sanity now. <laughs> uh, no, I'm fine. Player gains 2 sorrow. You lose uh, 30 stamina. Now it gets tricky. 40, uh, uh, 40 sanity, losing 40 sanity, not bad. That's, that's, that's bad. That's not good. Mm -hmm. And now we're troublesome. Okay, okay, okay. Ten. Uh. Okay. <laughs> so I can choose alcohol and I uh, gain five wrath. Yeah, alcohol monk is angry. And only temporarily appears to help. Okay, let's start cleaning. Or I can gain two actions and then this extra. Or for BLOs 5 plus 1 for every rested stack on the player. I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I should skip. I'm not in the trade contemplative. No. Lazy or persistent? You set your alarm to get up to go to work tomorrow. You give yourself one hour to get prepared. Shower, breakfast, everything to be ready. Or five alarms, one fifty minutes before getting out of the house, and the last one when you're already late. Surely you managed to put on pants at some point. Um, I think realistically, I'm more of a procrastinator. You can take a look at your body in the mirror and you tell yourself you'd want to slim down. You review your eating habits and at and or add some sports to your schedule. You don't. Well, both realistically. So I I review my eating habits and I pr pretend to add some sports to my schedule and then I don't. 
Um, Friday evening, snacks, brain off and streaming or bracelets. It's time to party. Uh, no, no party for me. Way too old. Uh, ooh, oh, ooh, oh, likes, uh, looks like there is some paperwork to be done. No problem. I have a fully functional brain and a four color pen. I'll do it now and won't think about it any longer. Or I put it there and hopefully forget about it. Yes, please. You have to build up that Swedish furniture yourself. You read the plan carefully, because things are made for any uh, are made for anyone to be able to do it. Or panic, cry, call 911. Really neither. I don't plan. I just take the stuff and hope it looks halfway with what I uh, like what I wanted. But I don't panic. So I'm lazy. Yes, that's exactly what I am. I have too many trades. All right. I can do ravioli, homemade ravioli, super tasty. Your max sanity is improved by 30 to the next fight. Or these are tasty ramen. You will have draw three more cards in the begin at the beginning of your next fight. Yes, I meant three more cards. Thank you, please. Uh, misophobia is a toxic germ that wants to see you rot. Or entomophobia. The very annoying buzz of entomo will challenge your ability to have a big effective turn. Huh. Yeah, let's see. wasn't nice. Play against 10 anxiety. Mm -hmm. uh, two sorrow and nostalgia. That's what can we do? That's all right. Uh, for beer losers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You think that's funny, right? Ooh, uh, let's see if we can do something against that. <laughs> we can for each item uh, warm tea you regain 40 stamina and draw two cards this card fades after use or I have a house party oh no that's horror I don't want to Transform each rested into wrath. Uh -huh. Playing this card ends your turn. Or you get two wrath for every mind focus you use this fight. No, I don't think so. <sighs> I, that's, I'm gonna skip that.
Cloudy weather. You draw two cards and regain 20 stamina. Playing this card ends your turn. This is solid, I think. For each action spent this turn. Wall punching. So if it's my last one, so I... Uh, it's like each turn spent... So it's like nine if I play it as last. Or I just throw... I think this is fine. Duplicate my knowledge or meditate or transform something. Do I want to transform something? I think this is fine. Into more. <laughs> masculinity. Like, this is toxic masculinity. Bia gains 40 wrath, means does 40 more damage during the next turn. Uh, I don't like that. Okay. So I can do this. <coughs> It's just added. So it's, I lose 30. If, if I don't kill him right now, I get 70. I lose 70. Stand. Okay, I have to fix my sanity right now. Phobia gets. Oh, I can do that, I think. Uh, then I'll do this. Then I'll do this. Uh, so. <laughs> Whoa, not good. Uh. Right. Uh, draw one, lose eight stamina. Uh, again, 13 stamina. No, no, no. Huh? 13, 13. Wait, we can. Mm. This is so tricky. This phobia. Also, okay, so it doesn't do any damage, it just increases the wrath. I can survive this. <coughs> and I just do this. And it gets four damage right now, right? <coughs> yes! Toxic masculinity. Goodbye. You get two wrath for every mind focus? No. Recycling. Get passive. Two turns. When an item durability reaches zero, it comes back to your hand. Uh, I don't have too many items. 
want to draw two cards. I'm fine with stamina, I think. Uh, still not too shabby. Pick a card that gives a passive. Um, passive two turns. You gain 10 block, 10 sanity, 10. Yes, please. I go to the therapist, so I have a block. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's do a survey. Lazy or persistent? I think we know how that goes. Nope. Uh, uh, let's do the opposite, huh? Raise yourself, it's time to party. No problem, I have a fundamental function. Uh, this is so not me. Uh, when you reach zero stamina, no. uh, this for will corrupt your deck and hand. Oh no, obey the rules of Theo. Theophobia. Fear of God. What? Uh, uh, you will face its wrath. Very religious, huh? You <laughs> remove all modifiers except anxiety. You lose 40 stamina before we add a random rule. And that's rare. So, for me, I lose. And I'd say. Each turn, the phobia will define a rule. Strike one, you lose 25% sanity. Strike two, you lose 50% sanity. Strike three, you lose. Item rule, don't use items. Okay, I can do that. You lose 15% sanity. No, 15 sanity. Phobia restores 15 HP. No, that's not nice. And another random rule. Yes. Just. Okay. Okay, what's the new rule? Play only one card per turn. That's fine. Play again 16 anxiety and reset your anxiety timer. I can I can play only one. Let's play this one here. And then I end my turn. New rule. Remove all modifiers except anxiety. Oh, that's bad. Anxiety 15. Rough 2. Don't use stamina. You draw, I don't hear stamina. Ooh, that's bad. <laughs> and I lose 40 stamina right now. Uh huh. So I can. It's 4 plus 2, 6. And I. No, I don't do that. I can just end right here. Mm -hmm. uh. Right. What's the new rule? Don't use stamina. Still? Okay. That's... Uh, if... I lose my sanity if I do that. Okay, what have we here? Again, okay. Templar and stamina, okay. I lose 15 sanity 
uh, this stupid thing right here. Oh, okay. I think we can survive this. Mm -hmm. Now, what can we do? Uh, draw only one card per turn. Alright, okay, we can do that. So, I can't use this, I can't use this. Um, mm -hmm. Now, let's see what we do with this one. Here. Uh, I can... It's a new rule. What's the rule? No items, no? You faint. Uh, Phobia defeated your mind. Your body is still up and running, so maybe you can give it another try to solve the new deck. Here are some tips that may help you. Use the mind focus button that lets you draw cards. I think we have that already. Anyway, so that was an introduction into Neurodeck, where you fight phobias and mental health issues. Uh, I kind of enjoy it as a deck builder. Um, it's a it's a new, it's a different way of thinking, and and, and I think uh, it's interesting. Maybe a bit dark, all in all, uh, but I kind of enjoy it um, uh, as a as a challenge, so to say. Um, thank you very much for watching and uh, maybe uh, hear you and see you another time at Radio Lockin. Bye bye.